right guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times of paradise in East Bumblefuck, New Mexico on this gorgeous springtime, Friday, April 7th, 2017. So before I get into my ecological meltdown roundup round of the week, I just simply want to get into my mailbag of the day to see what's on the minds of Alert Tribes members here in Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Then we'll dive in to the other stuff. Excuse me, little dog. So today we're going to hear from a fairly regular commenter uh, on the in my mailbag, a fellow named Dick Hamilton. Who was commenting on my uh, rant yesterday where I was talking about well, how Peabody Cole has now joined ExxonMobil in, uh, in begging, shall we say, Donald Trump not to bail out of the Paris Climate Agreement. And so this is how Dick was weighing in on that, our little conversation here. Quote, you are wrong about the Paris Climate Agreement. Why everybody signed up was because there are two things known as the letter and the spirit of the law. If you obey the spirit of the agreement, you have to do something unspecified about tackling climate change. But if you comply with the letter of the agreement, you don't have to do a damn thing. So they will keep it and not pull out. So this was my original response to his comment. <clears throat> The spirit and the letter of the agreement is to give the fossil fuel companies who authored the agreement, or at the very least signed off on it, to go right on about their business while greenwashing the limp dick mainstream environmentalist Obama ass lickers. This is why Exxon and Peabody Cole, among others, are cheering it on. Barack Obama knew goddamn well what the truth was behind this horse shit dog and pony show as he was creating his environmental legacy to save the planet from fossil fuels. Give me a fucking break. So Dick, uh, coming back with uh, this comment, you kind of missed my point, Hambone. Whoever wrote it or sponsored it, the parties who signed it, meaning all of these UN members, completely in the pockets of the fossil fuel industry, the, the little whores of the fossil fuel industry, otherwise known as the United Nations. So he's referring to the parties who signed it don't actually have to do a damned thing. They will observe the letter of the law, and as we see time and time again, that will be enough for all of them to say, we kept to our agreement. You don't notice I'm agreeing with you regarding the outcome. If you're desperate to blame somebody for the fact this agreement is totally empty of anything that will help, Blame everybody involved. They all wanted it. My response to that is, glad you cleared that up, amigo. I thought we were losing you. But of course, is this whole comment about re referring to the, to the uh, Paris Climate Agreement as a law. Uh, is there anyone suffering some delusion that the Paris Climate Agreement is a law with a letter, much less a spirit. Anyway, 
I'm going to, uh, oh, I need to come back at you with my quote of the day. i got several to choose from, so let me figure out which quote of the day I want to segue into my ecological meltdown roundup rant. Be right back at you. Bye, guys.